When the two musicians planted the acorns at Coventry Cathedral in 1968, they had the intention of using them as a component of a living sculpture that would also include a wrought iron bench that would surround the two trees. However, in a span of time that was less than a week, the acorns were unearthed and taken, and a disheartened John Lennon gave up on the gesture and removed the bench. It is improbable that the most recent exhibit at Liverpool's Beatles Museum is the culmination of a 55-year-long narrative that includes John Lennon and Yoko Ono, an abandoned peace monument, a drunk motorist, and a retired traffic cop who does not care about the Beatles. It was discovered that a few days after the theft, a young guy was arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol in the vicinity, and Mike Davies, a traffic sergeant with the Warwickshire Police, was the one who retrieved the acorns from him. In order to ensure that the acorns would be preserved for future generations, the perpetrator and his girlfriend, who were in reality fans of the Beatles, had dug them up and coated them in clear nail polish. The acorns were left there, and they walked away, Davies, who is now 88 years old, said to the PA News Agency. He went on to clarify that the acorns were, legally speaking, useless and had no owner, which is why he did not pursue charges against them. It would have been a waste of time to bring them back and replant them because they were coated with nail paint, which prevented them from growing. At the time of his retirement in 1980, Davies merely stored the acorns in his desk. After he retired, he transported them home in a cardboard box along with other personal items. Prior to the year before last, he had completely forgotten about them until he came across them. When I thought, that was John Lennon and Yoko Ono, they were just two seconds away from being thrown away, he recalled. It was then that I realized them. So Davies sent them to the Liverpool Museum, telling them that if they weren't interested in adding them to the collection, they should just throw them away because he didn't care, and he didn't want them back. Julia Baird, John Lennon's sister, was the one who made the announcement that the acorns would be displayed in the museum once they were ready. Rogue Best, the owner of the museum and the brother of Pete Best, the original drummer for the Beatles, stated that John Lennon and Yoko Ono kicked off their entire peace movement with this art installation, where the acorns were planted. The pursuit of world peace by John Lennon and Yoko Ono, which occurred during the height of the counterculture movement, was widely recognized. For example, they participated in Bed INS, one of which took place from their suite at the Amsterdam Hilton Hotel and another from the Queen Elizabeth Hotel in Montreal. Additionally, they used the phrase war is over. If you want it. While they were staying in Montreal, they came up with the song Give Peace a Chance, which was later released as a single by the Plastic Ono Band in 1969 and went on to become a huge smash all over the world.